millions of people in the world. Those who would consider traveling across the country in a recreational vehicle and those who would not. We asked Steve Leonard of I-94 RV based in Northern Illinois about why RV travel is so popular among Americans. It's in the American spirit of being able to do whatever you want, stick to your own schedule and go have some fun. And it offers uh, freedom, independence. I mean, you're not dealing with schedules. You're not waiting in line at the airport. And one of the things I like is that uh, if you want to get up in the middle of the night and go walk around in an RV, you could. You can walk out the door. Your RV campsite is your own. Out of all the hobbies I've done, like boating and muscle cars and backpacking and hardcore tent camping, stuff like that, uh, nothing's made the family happier than having an RV. And that's because we're all there. We're all at home. Again, we're just traveling to exciting destinations, but we're all together. Myself, mom, kids, everybody's involved in the experience the whole time. A Spectrum's Millionaire Corner survey of more than 1,000 affluent investors found that 26% of them had been on a trip in a recreational vehicle. That included 37% of business owners versus just 13% of corporate executives. Asked if they would consider taking an RV trip in the future, 16% said yes, and 34% said maybe, putting the total possible RV travels at 50%. So, if you're thinking about exploring America in one of these recreational vehicles, Steve has some suggestions for you. Well, I think the best thing to do is to not compromise yourself. Uh, you know, figure out what RVs available in your budget and what kind of size you want, but don't feel conservative. Get inside the RV, look at it from a standpoint of how it lives and how it's comfortable. Because one thing I notice is that RVers that have owned two or three normally tend to buy larger coaches geared toward how they live versus how they drive. Because even the large ones drive excellent. You know, if you want to have a good RV trip, obviously it starts with a little bit of planning, but it's so varied. I mean, when you own an RV because you have uh, such an ease of use, I mean, you can camp in a Walmart parking lot or you could camp in a state park or you could stay in a, a sole proprietor campground. So you, you've got a lot of options. You can also stay in campgrounds where, where you can stay for six or seven months. So. The thing is, you've got to just figure out what makes you happy, what your hobbies are, and uh, the RV can definitely serve that purpose. So basically, it's just finding out what you want to do. The RV is just coming along to make you feel comfortable. Thanks, Steve. I hope some of those tips will help you have a great RV trip. From Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks so much for watching, and happy RVing.